In this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how you can perform an Office 365 user account security assessment within minutes. Let's get started by creating a workspace. Workspaces are an important concept within Volier as it's a container for your automation. IT service providers commonly create workspaces for each customer, while internal IT organizations commonly create a workspace for each geographical site or data center. To create a workspace, click New Workspace and enter a name you wish to call it. Then click Save. Now let's browse the public library, then click Save Azure AD User Credentials. This template will save the administrative credentials within Valir that we will use to perform the assessment. Make sure that you've created an Office 365 Global Administrator account prior to continuing. For best practices, we recommend creating a new Volier service account. And because the assessment is emailed to you, you'll need to either assign a mailbox license or create another Office 365 account that's used for emailing. Click Use Template. Now select the workspace you wish to save the credentials within. Let's go ahead and select the one we previously created. Finally, click Confirm to launch the instance. Enter the label you wish to associate with these credentials. You'll need to remember this value as you'll need to enter them exactly as is when we reference them later. I'm going to call mine admin. Enter the username. Then finally enter the password. And click submit. We're done. Now we just need to wait for the automation to securely encrypt and store the credentials within the workspace. If you're using two different accounts, one for administrative access and one for emailing, repeat the same steps to save the email credentials with a different label like SMTP. Now that the instance is complete, let's navigate back to the public library. Select Office 365 User Account Security Assessment Click Use Template. Select the same workspace we saved the credentials within and click Confirm. Enter the label of the administrative credential saved. Next, enter the label of the email credential saved. If it's the same as the administrative account, enter that same label. If you used a different account, enter the label for your email account. Enter the email address you wish to send the assessment report after it's generated. And because email is not a secure platform and the fact that the report contains email addresses and other telemetry data, the report is protected with the password you enter here. Click Submit to begin the assessment. Depending on how many users you have, it may take minutes for a few users to an hour for hundreds of users depending on the amount of telemetry data available. Once the assessment is complete, you'll receive an email with the attached report. The report is generated as an Excel spreadsheet. In this area, you'll see the total number of accounts which includes service accounts. Here, identify accounts that are known to be breached. For example, username and passwords have been compromised. Changing the number of days here allows you to inspect any new breaches since the last remediation date. This can help identify accounts that are no longer used. For example, test accounts. Identify accounts that haven't had a password changed in a specified period. This represents suspicious logon activities. This chart represents the number of account with multi-factor authentication enabled. View password expiration policies on accounts. And finally, identify login activities from countries within the last 30 days, both successful and failed login attempts. The other tabs below allow you to see telemetry data, which you can use for remediation. Perform this assessment and other assessments at Volier.com.